Greetings, this is WSOZ and I am Dr. Addie Lisby, your Chief Communications Officer of the AME Zion Church and the editor of the Star of Zion. We are here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Hyatt Regency on Peachtree Street for the 51st quadrennial session of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion General Conference and people have gathered from across the globe to attend this hybrid, this first ever hybrid session of the General Conference. We are here with masks on, as you can see. We have name tags that have health check approved to let people know that you've been certified to attend. We have an observer room. We have hand sanitizer stations throughout the hotel so that people will feel safe. We started today off with worship service in the tradition of the AME Zion Church with Bishop W. Darren Moore giving us a word. The Shaw Temple AME Zion Choir brought the Holy Spirit in with a loud roar. And then we are in the first executive session of the General Conference. After this meeting, which ends on August the 1st, we will begin our Connectional Lay Council, the 12th Quadrennial Lay Council for the lay, the lay delegates of the AME Zion Church, and it will go through August the 4th. Please join us. WSOZ will be here, be here each and every day, providing you with up-to-date coverage. You can view all live stream sessions at amez.org, WSOZ, our YouTube station, and SOZ Facebook page. And now we have Reverend Zaniel Young, who is a pastor in the New Jersey Conference, who's here assisting the motility of this convention, who has worked very hard to help us. Dr. Young, how are you today? Doing well, thank you so very much, Dr. Lisby. And how has this experience been for it being our first hybrid session? Oh, it's been interesting, but yet successful. And tell us some of the duties that you all, your team did in getting prepared for the first ever hybrid session of the General Conference. We've had an opportunity to uh, meet with the Director of Public Affairs and with our convention manager over the past two months and making sure that all of our efforts here in Atlanta were really made best for the people who would attend the conference. We've done everything from planning to uh, packing boxes to unpacking boxes to making sure that we're following temperature checks and all of our CDC guidelines. So it's been an overwhelming experience. Thank you so much. And as I said earlier, we will be here all week. So join us. We will keep you updated. And again, you can catch us on live streams WSOZ YouTube TV, AMEZ.org, and SOZ Facebook. Thank you, and we will be back.